I got hit in the helmet, which knocked me out, believe it or not. It knocked me out for about 20 seconds. Basically, these, these have got layers of Kevlar in, and it's designed to go around. So if you shot me there, it will come out the back. This is a Smith & Spender uh, scope. It's German-made. Um, I think they're the best scopes. Uh, it's nice clear glass. When I say clear glass, when you look through it, it's like looking through your eyeballs, you know. Here I've got a spirit level to make sure when I'm shooting I'm not on a cant. Now, a cant is when the rifle's on the tilt. If the rifle's on the tilt, the bullet's not going to travel straight. It doesn't. Sh the bullet doesn't travel straight anyway, it curves. Because inside the barrel, you've got rifling. And that rifling goes right. All right. This is where it gets complicated. So it goes right. And then you have the Cariolus effect of the world taking effect from the center. I think the world moves 1,050 miles an hour. And as it goes higher and lower to the north and south pole, the slower it gets. So where you are in the world, you have to judge the Cariolus effect of the world will take effect of that bullet as well. So if the world's going right, your bullet's going right, you're going to have to put more left on your reflection. And that's how it works. And if, you're, and if you've got a canton as well, the bullet's not going to go straight. So much into it, you know, it's not all about just lying down and shooting. This is a Mark VI Alpha helmet. Now, when I did my last tour, all these new helmets came out, but my head is so vast, it, they never had one to fit my head. So I had to stick with the old fashioned one. Basically, I was on a mission and we had to um, secure a left flank. And I didn't, I thought to myself when the mission was set up, I haven't checked over there. So I, I, I went over there in my vehicle and um, there were two Taliban there um, arming up and they rinsed me, they rinsed me. Um, I got hit in the helmet, which knocked me out, believe it or not, it knocked me out for about 20 seconds. Basically, these, these have got layers of Kevlar in and it's designed to go around. So if you shot me there, it will come out the back. My other two vehicles came up to support me and, and I realised that I got shot in my man bag. We call them man bags. because You put your magazines in and I got shot through there. Um, and obviously on the vehicle itself, you have a Jimpy machine gun with an ammo box. That got shot, so I couldn't return fire because everything was crushed. And um, to this day now, I cannot remember anything to this day now because I got knocked out. And then my driver remembers everything. And he told me that I looked at him and he was in the footwell of his vehicle. And I stood up, I took the box off, I reloaded the box. We were still getting fire in there. And I stayed on top of that hill. <laughs> I stayed on top of that hill and extracted all my blokes off the top of the hill. Um, all the vehicles, they all went down to dead ground. And uh, my driver said, you weren't moving. And I wasn't moving without an order. Um, I can't remember anything. I had a really bad concussion from it um, because of the distance he got shot. And I spent the night in the field ambulance but I refused to go back to Bastion um, because I wanted to stay with my blokes. I felt I needed to stay with my blokes. So in the morning I said I felt fine, which I didn't. And um, I went back and joined my lads and we carried on the mission. And you see some lads that don't wear their helmet. And I always, I always brought that in and I said, you need to wear your helmet lads, because it can save your life. An inch lower and I won't be here now, an inch lower. I won't be here. I looked up and I could see two guys with a, um, a PKM uh, belt-fed um, Russian machine gun and they were hammering down on the lads. And my rifle only shoots 1,500 metres, so I had to, I call it lobbing, I lobbed the bullet in 